to take a few minutes and kind of uh, give you a bit of a refresher on the, uh, the Forever products, uh, particularly the, uh, the Flexoft uh, products. Um, yep. And uh, hang on just a second. Okay. Um, so the. Hey, just real quick, it's up before we jump in. Um, are you able to record this session? We are. Oh, that'd be awesome. Is there a way to get a copy of it afterwards and I could share it with them? There is. That would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we absolutely can do that. Uh, we, <clears throat> we tend to make a, to, uh, to make a point about that. Okay. Excellent. You're one, you're one ahead on me. Perfect. <laughs> So what I wanted to do is, uh, you know, just kind of take a minute and, and show you some examples of some of the stuff that we've done uh, with these products, just to kind of give you an idea of, of uh, how it can be used. You know, for example, um, this is one of the things, when we talk about the Forever product line, one of the points that we really like to make to people is this idea of high value garments. So, you know, I mean, when you get into screen print, uh, a lot of the, you know, the traditional methods of garment decorating, you know, you're talking garments that are typically selling, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten dollar kind of uh, of price range, and you know, it's as much work to do that as as it is to make a garment that sells for a higher price than that, and that's what we sort of like to you know, try and emphasize with these products is that, you know, you bring into uh, effect the ability to do full customization and to be able to sort of mix and match things together on a shirt. You know, this is one where the, the laser dark with the white toner printer has been used to create the, the, the photographs, then the flex soft and the metallics and uh, and the red are then used to uh, you know to further ac accent uh, accent the work on the garment and you know when you can do these kinds of things in a one of fashion you know now you really are talking about shirts that you know that typically will start in the the twenty five dollar price range and go up from there another thing is that you know these are uh, shirts that you can, you know, you can do multiple um, uh, designs, multiple capabilities with these. You know, this is a mixture of the silver, the neon that glows under a black light, and then the the forever that um, uh, that gives you, you know, your tonal values with it. So all of all of these are uh, the kinds of designs that will uh, that you know, give users the ability to do uh, a variety of, of, uh, of different types of high value garments. So the thing about the FlexSoft that we like to make sure that people understand is that, you know, it's not really a competition with vinyl. It's really an adjunct to vinyl. You know, if yeah. someone walks into your shop and they say, you know, I, I need a couple of letters on the back of a, you know, of a sports jersey, it's probably going to be cheaper and quicker and easier to do that using vinyl. But one of the things that, you know, that we're seeing from the, the accounts that are, that, are, that are working with vinyl is that more and more is the case that the customers are coming in with these really complex designs, you know, a distressed look, something that has, uh, uh, you know, a lot of detail associated with it, and you've got a number of problems when you when you have to deal with that. I mean, the, someone comes into the shop and they say, you know, how much is a shirt? Well, the first answer always is, let me see your artwork, and then you have to spend time trying to look through the artwork. You've got to try and understand how the artwork was made. What's it going to take to get that artwork into a form that we can load it into our cutter? How long is it going to take the cutter to cut it? How long is it going to take, you know, someone in the organization to weed it and apply it? And then you're ready to give a, a user an answer. 
when you add a product like FlexSoft, you know, to your, your, your tool set, you know, now customer comes in and says, how much is a shirt? You know, you can say $20, $25. Let me see your artwork. So that way they know up front what the cost is going to be. It doesn't really matter what the complexity of the job is, because if it's a simple job, you can do it using vinyl. If it's a complex job, you can do it using a product like FlexSoft. So as a case in point, um, you know, here we've got a, a, a typical type of, uh, of this sort of design. So you've got a tremendous amount of complexity uh, associated with this. And when we're working with, uh, with the FlexSoft product, you actually have you know, a couple of different ways that, that you can use it. So you've got, you know, you've got all these different colors that are available to you. This is just a few of them. There are 20 colors total, and there are uh, more colors that are on the way. Uh, there's a, a broad range of metallic colors. Uh, there are, you know, all of your standard colors, white, black, red, blues. Uh, there are neon colors that glow under a black light. And they're available in either the 8.5 by 11 size or in the 11 by 17 size. The product is a two-step media, so you have the sheet that has the color, and then you have the adhesive sheet that handles the bonding of the, the toner to the shirt. And then, of course, there's the toner, which does all the cutting and weeding for you. Now, um, this is a product that you can use in a couple of different ways. So we can print either directly on the color sheet, in which case, for example, with this design that we're showing, you would print as a mirror image. Or we can print on the B sheet, and then in that case, you would simply print this in a right reading fashion, which makes it even easier for users to get started with it. And one of the things that we've, you know, that we have done a lot of work with is trying to figure out what are the easiest ways of working with this product. You know, what can you do with it to make it easier for, for your customers to get started with it? And, you know, this is where this product comes into play with one of these really low-cost printers. So this is the, the little Canon 6030. Uh, we love this little printer. You know, these cheap uh, black and white laser printers are really designed to sell toner. I mean, you know, it's an $80 printer and uh, you've got $120 cartridges, you know, that go in to refill them. So clearly they're just designed to run through a lot of toner and, and sell toner. And that's exactly what we want. So that's why we really love those types of printers. So to get started with this, we, in, in our case, we actually are going to print on this B sheet. So what we do okay. is we go into the file and select print. You know, one of the things that we've, uh, that we've found with these is that most of these uh, printers don't really even have an option to do things like mirroring. So if you go into this, you uh, select the properties, there is no mirror option available. And so that's fine. We just print on this B sheet and we don't need to mirror it. The main things that we want to do with this is we want to select our paper source and we want to make sure that we're working with a paper type that's either heavy or labels or uh, transparency. You know, one of these three settings, depending upon the kind of printer that you're working with, for this little Canon, uh, heavy is the one that does the best for us. And then, um, you know, like we said, that these printers are designed to put down a lot of toner. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, no problem. Bless you. Yeah, pardon me. <laughs> Um, and, you know, there's any time that you've got an option, for example, like this toner density, 
you want to go in and select the option where you can adjust that and you want to go in and you want to turn it up even as high as it'll go. So everything that you can do to tell the printer to put down even more toner, the better. And that's really all that's needed. And then the other nice thing about these is how fast they are. I mean, really and truthfully, they, they're, they're capable of printing extremely fast. So it makes them extremely productive tools. So here we are. Nice. Yeah. You know, and it's super fine detail. You know, all the detail that's in your design is going to work with this. One of the other reasons that we like to have users actually printing, especially in the beginning, when they first get started working with this, of printing on this B paper, is that the fuser fusing the toner onto the adhesive sheet actually makes production a little bit easier. Because one of the areas where you know, people will typically have initial trouble is in getting the toner and the adhesive to stick properly during the AB peeling. Well, by putting the, the toner already on the adhesive, you kind of eliminate that problem from the start. And the toner sticks incredibly well to the coating that's on the sheet. So, for example, this is one of the newer colors, the uh, bronze metallic, really a beautiful color, makes some really nice looking designs with this. So the way it works is we come over to our heat press. We've got our heat press set at 300 degrees. Um, if you're working with the standard instructions from forever, and this, this again is also one of the reasons why we kind of like to provide our own instructions, They've got a variety of temperatures that we're uh, running these at, depending upon the color that you're printing on. And, you know, understandably, that's the case if you're printing on, you know, this sheet. But when you're printing on the B sheet, you can just set it at one temperature, 300 degrees, and that works for all of the different colors. So what happens is, is that as it is now, the toner is bonded. Uh, to the adhesive on one side of this. So we'll put these two together. And we're pressing this at a medium high pressure and we're gonna be pressing it for 90 to 120 seconds at that. Okay. Now while that's pressing, let me show you some uh, examples of what we've done. So one of the questions that, that we get a lot from people is, you know, can you layer this stuff, all right? And so this is, a, this is an example of a design that we did where, in fact, we are layering it. So you literally just print each of the pieces, apply the adhesive to them, and then you're ready to start layering them. So you put on the first one, everything's a cold peel. Roll the design away. and start adding the other components on top. Can you overheat it or um, like over cure it or anything like that? Like no. by doing additional colors? No, no. See, that's the nice thing about a toner type of a solution. And not only, not only are you not doing that, but these actually just go right together. You don't even feel that you've got multiple layers when you do it that way. Melding, they're melding uh, or melting together essentially. Exactly, exactly. <clears throat> All right, so <clears throat> then this is a, a hot peel. Do 
you have any large companies that are using this that you're aware of that are doing like high production value and stuff uh, using the paper? Or is it more of the short run kind of components? So, um, uh, yes and no, all right? Uh, one of the best examples for that that, that, uh, that comes to mind is uh, there's a company that does these uh, kind of these polyester yellow safety bomber jackets for construction workers. Okay. And, you know, they all want their name on the, on the jacket. And this, these guys were, were, were doing a, uh, a cutting and weeding on uh, uh, black vinyl to put those names on. And so they found this product and they switched over to using the, the black uh, flex soft to do those names. Production just skyrocketed as a result of that. And the quality is excellent. They're really pleased with it. Awesome. So after you've, after you've peeled it, then uh, you want to trim it. Because uh, there'll be a little bit of that glue that comes out around the edge. And then we're ready to um, apply this to our shirt. While I'm getting my shirt on, here's another example of one that we did. This is using the, um, that example that I showed you earlier, where it's putting down multiple copies of the um, laser dark, and then applying the, the flex off to that. So here's our design. Uh, now what we do is we raise the pressure up to high because we want to apply it to the garment with high pressure. And we're pressing this for about 30 seconds. How long can you store these after you make them? Uh, there's really no limit. And you can store them as uh, individuals, uh, prints, or um, you can, in other words, I can print them and store them. I can print them and apply the adhesive and store them uh, either way. Okay. All right, so, so moisture or things like that won't affect it. Sorry? So moisture or anything like humid temperatures like that wouldn't affect it of any sort? Yeah, so these are, uh, this is a poly uh, uh, PET type of uh, material. So it really isn't uh, uh, moisture sensitive. Okay. All right. So now we let this cool off. While we let this cool off, let me show you this. This is, uh, here's one that we did for a guy the other day. I saw that video, the neck, uh, the neck labels. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think you sent me that video the other day and stuff like that. Yeah. He was, that guy was ecstatic about that. <laughs> <laughs> I heard his reaction and stuff in there. He was, yeah, that, that, that fine detail. That, that's, that's hard to do even with screen printing. So that, that's a good one right there. Yeah. I mean, could you even do that with screen printing really, you know? So I understand, I understand. Not very easily, but not he, very easily. He was pretty excited about it, so we were we were kind of happy to get that on uh, on film. One of the reasons we like <laughs> to uh, to record these as well. All right, so here's the one that we we've done for for you here, and so again, what we recommend is that you that you use a kind of a rolling type of a motion to sort of roll the design away, and feel free to oh my god. <laughs> 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 oh my god <laughs> <laughs> so and then there, there's you know when you do this there'll be little pieces of that that'll you know that'll just kind that'll of flake uh, off there a little bit yeah just flake off uh what we typically recommend to do for that is to uh take a piece of uh of tape for example 
like this and just kind of stick it on and and uh, like a lint roller kind of thing yeah uh exactly yeah that or just uh masking tape either way just, okay just something that'll you know that'll grab these Clean. little pieces and 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 pull them away from the design if you don't uh it's fine they'll just come off the first time you wash the shirt anyway because there's no glue behind it it just makes okay. it you know, it just makes a little bit of a cleaner result uh, yeah. when, when you do that in terms of what you're, you know, what you're going to be providing to your client. So now at this point, you know, if you look at this, you know, kind of closely here. And through the wash and stuff, it stays metallic and everything. It's not going to like lose any of its sheen or anything like that. It's going to lose its sheen a little bit in just a moment, but it won't lose okay. it anymore. So what happens is, is that, you know, you can see here is that it's fairly solid because it's still sitting up on top of the shirt. The media yeah. itself, you know, has a, uh, has a density to it that doesn't really let it go down deep into the shirt. So what we like to do with that, you know, is, is we want to be sure that it's, you know, it's firmly grasped, you know, mounted into the shirt fibers. So we'll put it back in. And you can press it, depending on the kind of result that you, that you want to have. So you can use either a parchment sheet like this to give you a matte finish, or you can use a, a glossy silicone sheet if you want to keep a glossy finish to it. So for example, in this case, I can put it in and press it with this glossy sheet. Again, high pressure. How long did you have that on there? About 15, 20 seconds is usually typically okay. enough to really press it down uh, into the shirt. Okay. And if you didn't, for some reason, like the, it would, would it just like kind of come off in the wash or is that? Uh... For best durability, uh, you do need to do a final pressing on it. Okay. Let me show you the difference. You remember how it looked a minute ago where it was kind of solid? Yeah. And uh, so here you can see now that it's... Let me get the camera here focused. Yeah, there you go. And yeah, now you can see some of that shirt fiber in there. Yeah. Yep. So that's what really presses it down into the shirt to give it the, the best durability. Okay. The application temperature on this can go all the way down as low as about 215 degrees. So that means you have the ability to use this product with pretty much anything that you can heat up to just over the boiling point of water. So you can put it onto all kinds of, uh, of substrates. I mean, if you're going to put it onto a nylon jacket or rayon, or if you want to put it onto polypropylene bags or leathers or, uh, I mean, so many different kinds of, of uh, substrates fall into this range of temperatures. You know, if you're, if you're putting this on something that's not going to be washed, like, you know, say these bags or things like that, then you can just press it, peel it, and you're done. If you're putting okay. it on something that, you know, that is going to be washed, we do recommend that final pressing so that you can get, you know, your, your real maximum durability out of it. Also, there's so many so, things that you can do with this, but um, any, any questions to this point? Yeah just, yeah, just one question in regards to the temperatures. So um, you mentioned the wide variety and stuff, and I understand, you know, being able to press it and stuff like that. And, you know, if you're not washing the item like a tote bag or something like that, you don't have to go back and do a second press and stuff potentially and stuff like that. But uh, say I'm doing a polyester shirt, you know, like what kind of temperatures, like, would you recommend on doing something like that? Like, is there like a fine line, like a, like a dance, basically, like, a you know, that balance of like, hey, if I'm going to do a lower temperature, I have to press it for a longer period of time? Or... No, there's, there's really not. So this, it's the same production steps. The only thing that changes is the temperature. 300 degrees is a fairly low temperature to start with. So that works pretty well for, uh, certainly for cottons. 
It actually works pretty well for, uh, for most uh, cotton poly blends, and it also works reasonably well for uh, uh, some of your lighter color polyesters and things like that. It's really when you get into a darker polyester or you get into some of this Chinese polyester stuff where it starts sublimating out uh, if you get up above about 250 degrees. So for those, you just drop down to, you know, 240, 245, you know, that level below the sublimation point and start working with it. Uh, then when you get into things like, you know, like nylon and rayon, I mean, if you go over about 225, uh, 230 uh, on a nylon or a rayon, you're going to leave a heat press mark on it. So you just yep. drop down below the temperature where, you know, where the heat press won't leave a mark and you're ready to go. And pretty much the same thing for, for polypropylene, you know, 220, you know, usually works pretty good for that. Uh, going so down why below, wouldn't you... Uh... Like if if you can do it at a lower temperature for all those products, why wouldn't you just say just do this at like 250 and be done? Well, mainly it's because you're doing the A B at 300, so you know dropping. Okay. So, oh, so you don't have to drop the temp down and, and wait. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I got. You. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, you always okay, that, have. That yeah, makes sense. You always have to do the A B at about 300 degrees. Right. Yeah, I, I wasn't thinking that first step. Yep, that makes sense. <laughs> right. So now, uh, let me, let's start another little uh, video here. Listen to this. This is what I did a while back. <laughs> I like the lab coat there. <laughs> 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 you know, I, I actually, I did this uh, uh, quite a while ago, and, uh, you know, one of the questions that really was sort of coming up from it was people were asking, you know, what's the durability on this stuff? And I thought, well, you know, let's do like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde approach. Here are those neon <laughs> colors. And basically, you know, here's our little Canon printer again, you know, printing this complex design and, you know, marrying it together, do the lab coat, you know. I had my beard, still got my beard. It was a little bit longer then. Um, and then, uh, you know, go through the uh, sort of the application part of this. <laughs> and then, you know, sort of uh, in keeping with the, uh, with the Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde kind of thing, I made this, um, this little to torture machine. <laughs> 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 kind of like the medieval, you know, stretch kind of thing where you, uh, uh, you're breaking bones and all that kind of stuff. Because, you know, people were asking, um, you know, what is the durability? And, you yeah. know, typically everybody wants to measure durability from, um, uh, from the uh, uh, stretchability. So here's a zoomed in picture here where you can see how it's, uh, it's, yeah, you really did make a nice little contraption there. I did. I mean, I absolutely went to the <laughs> with this thing. Yeah. Because, you know, I mean, I didn't have any other way of, of, uh, of really doing yeah. something that uh, could convey in a visual sense, you know, the, real, the, the amount of, uh, of stretchability and, and, uh, and such that you can get with some of these. And so yeah. I thought, well, here we go. This is, uh, you know, this is it. So, you know, I, I, I built this machine. We mounted the, the shirt in there. You know, it's, a, it's your, your classic come along kind of thing. So, I mean, it's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you know. <laughs> pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you start hearing bones breaking any minute. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm waiting for it to go to the next level. I'm like, oh, there it goes. <laughs> Was the shirt like ripped down the middle before the, uh, before the uh, application? I mean, effectively, you know, I mean, you know, this, <laughs> I didn't go that far with this, but I certainly went to the point to where, you know, this shirt was dressed, was stretched beyond, you know, you know, wearability anymore. Yeah. Uh, 
That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that makes a little stretch. <laughs> yeah. And what kind of washability and stuff in terms of now now that you've got the durability, what kind of washability and stuff are you, are you uh you know normal like 20, 25, 30 kind of washes like you know depending upon you know washing it you know appropriately. Yeah, I mean, um when you so there you know not all of the colors have the same level of durability. You know, one of the things that uh that we find is that the the metallics, which are really some of the most popular of the colors, are the ones that are absolutely the most durable. I mean, they are literally permanent. I mean, I've got, I've got shirts that, you know, that are in my personal collection that are four or five years old that have been washed, you know, countless, countless times, and they look as good as they did in the very beginning. Some of the other colors, you know, like the standard colors, you know, a red, a blue, that kind of thing. Uh, the nature of those colors, they're not quite as uh, stretchable as the metallics are. Um, but with, even with them, you know, you can, you can simply press them with a uh, hot iron and a baking sheet and, and, and get them back to the uh, uh, you know back to pretty close the original uh, condition because the 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 media doesn't come off of the shirt you know really the only thing that you would have happen is that um, you know that some of it will separate a little bit and you can like I said you know iron them and put them back together again okay Let's go, let's go to another one that we did uh, the other day with uh, Christopher. I think you've met Christopher. Yeah, I met Christopher, yep. Yeah, I've spoken with him a few times in the past, and then I uh, got to meet him for the first time at the show last week. Yeah, right, okay, yeah. So, um, uh, so Christopher's with Forever, and, uh, yep. and what, what they did was – go ahead, let it play. Yeah, I'm sorry. What they did was uh, – They've developed a number of different uh, tools to work with this. One of the ones that, uh, that they did was a, uh, a, a, an action script, I guess you will, for uh, Photoshop. And so he literally took his phone out, took a picture of me, right, and, uh, and ran it through this uh, Photoshop action script to literally convert it into that image that you see, you know, which is a kind of a halftone uh, type of, of uh, image. It's just a, it's an action like an action set and stuff for uh, Photoshop essentially. It is, yeah. yeah. And you can download it. You can download it off of their uh, off of their website. They actually have a couple of them. Uh, they've got uh, one that that you know what you do with this one is that you take somebody's picture, preferably against a dark background, and then, you know, it'll help you drop out that background and then convert that image into a halftone style that you can, uh, you know, use with the flex off. And then uh, more recently, they've done one where um, they are uh, doing a distressed look. And so it'll, you know, it'll take a design and it'll apply a, a distressed pattern to it. And so now cool. he's applying this to uh, a hoodie. So this is a 50-50 this a hoodie. Is this one of the sweatshirts that you have in your uh, repertoire that you, uh, you've washed numerous times from wearing? Uh, I've washed this one a few <laughs> times because he just did this just recently. Oh, this is just recent? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is just recent. And you know what? I told myself yesterday, I said, David, get that hoodie and bring it today, and I'll be dead gum. I didn't wake up this morning and, and walk off and forget it. But you know I, I am uh uh I I'm often, my my forgetfulness is is increasing uh, faster than my knowledge is, that's for sure. So listen to this. <laughs> that's 
That's pretty awesome. So that's kind of showing you the right way and the wrong way to peel it off. Yeah. That's some crazy detail. Huh? That's some crazy detail. Isn't it though? <laughs> yeah. It really is. Like that's. I mean, you know, this, you know, this just kind of shows you the sort of stuff that, you know, there's just no possibility that you could do this with vinyl. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't. Oh, not at all. I'm not even sure you could really do that good of a job with that fine detail, even screen printing. Not with that kind of, uh, not with that color, I can tell you. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool that is it is yeah for sure i mean we're we're really excited about the product and one of the things you know we got into the product and uh and and you know had a big stock of it when they sort of first came out with it and you know it it's taken a while for it to to start to catch on and now the stuff's flying out of here so, yeah. uh, I mean, we're really getting to the point to where, uh, you know, the demand, people are starting to get this. So now's really the time to, to get involved with it because, you know, there's, there's some nice profit in this. Uh, it's simple and easy for your customers to work with. And it answers a question that, you know, that everybody has. I mean, when I'm at a trade show, I can stand there and people walk by and I can say, no cut, no weed, and they say, huh? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, that, that really is, uh, that's a solution that a lot of people are looking for. So that's where, like, when we were at the trade show, and, you know, we had the, uh, the inkjet uh, printable paper and stuff like that. But with that, you have to screen print white ink on the back, you know, so it's kind of a bridge product, you know, between screen printing and vinyl and stuff like that. This takes it another step, uh, you know, further and stuff like that with different materials and specialties and stuff like that that, uh, I think uh, I think for the price point on the FlexSoft, I think that's going to be phenomenal and stuff. I think for our client base, um, you know, especially you know, eighty dollar printer, and you know, if you go to like four ink jets, you can get a, a toner cartridge for twenty bucks for that thing. So that's uh, you can't beat that right there either and stuff. I mean, that that's. I mean, even yeah, at, I, even at a hundred and twenty dollars for a retail cartridge, for you know, for for this printer. Uh, at their, you know, at their list price with the, you know, with the several thousand prints that you'll get out of it, who cares? Yeah, even that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Who exactly. cares? I mean, yeah, that's, five, that, it, that's five shirts. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I know this is, uh, I know this question, I know we weren't set up for it, but do you have any samples or anything just uh, to show the the, uh, the full color with the white just out of curiosity and stuff uh, just uh, over there and stuff like that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, actually, I mean, uh, you know, right behind me, uh, uh, it, you know, is a, is a ton of this. I mean, this is an example of one where it's doing the lettering. This is done with the white toner. Uh, this has the rasterization, which puts the dots in it so that it breathes very nicely. You get nice flexibility. You get very nice durability with this. This is done with the laser dark, um, with the um, hot stamping foils. So you've got, you know, this goes down as a black print, and then you put your hot stamping foils on it. Both of these are examples of the hot stamping foils. This is one that's done with the, with the white toner. And, uh, you know, you've got really a photographic type of an image. This is using the rasterization that pulls the dark uh, background out of this. So you have really very little toner even involved with this. Uh, these, are, these are all flick soft in, in this role, the blue, the yellow, the gold, and the red. 
This is a combination flex soft with the red and the silver. This is the, uh, the laser dark. This is actually uh, a two print with the laser dark using the silver, actually it's three prints, silver, gold, flex soft, and then the laser dark design uh, in front of it. Uh, this is a, a very intricate design done with the, uh, the laser dark media uh, uh, using the white toner printer as is the American flag down at the bottom. Uh, this design here, uh, this is really an example of a, a, a really high value garment. So we have the Blackhawks logo, the Chicago Blackhawks, which did terrible this year. Um, the, uh, you know, the Indian head, uh, the hair part of it that you see here is, uh, is all done with flock. So we're literally printing a black design. We're pressing the, the flock. Do you know what flock is, right? Yep, we saw a lot of that. Yeah, okay. So you're pressing the flock onto this. Then that's, that's print number one. Print number two puts down another black design, which is the background to the feathers and, and the little string thing running through the, through the hair. That goes down as, as black, and then you come back over this with hot stamping foil to add this gold to it. And then the third and final print is the full color. So the face and then the color that's inside of the feathers. So this is three prints to get one shirt. However, the way this shirt was created, those three prints were able to be put three up onto the 11.8 uh, by 19 uh, sheet size that's available with the, with the laser dark. So I made three prints to do a shirt, but three prints made three shirts. So I didn't have any extra cost other than just the flock and some few pennies worth of the hot stamping foil. So, you know, yeah. clearly, here, you know, you've got a $35, $40, $45 shirt, but you still have the same cost as any of the other shirts that are on here. And then, of course, up in the uh, far corner is the examples of all the different flex soft, and they're all done in a, in a halftone style as well. Yep. So there is a flock available with us there, that works the same way. Yeah. Uh, there, there is, um, we have some, um, I'm not sure if the factory is going to continue that product. So, um, uh, because of, uh, like durability issues or because of popularity or both. Both. Yeah. So okay. the, flock, the flock was, was clearly the least durable of, uh, uh of, of the products. Okay. Interesting. Um, very cool. All right. Um, yeah, I, I think uh, I think we'll be ready to get a PO over to you guys and stuff like that. To be honest with you, so um, I know I've been talking to Carla and stuff and, and yourself for uh, probably close to a year trying to get to the product line and stuff like that. But uh, I think we're ready to uh, finally make the move and stuff and uh, get it rocking. So yeah, awesome. So one of the other things, one of the things I wanted to kind of close out with, if you, you know, unless you have other questions, uh, you know, today. Not specifically, we, like I'm, I'm, I'm I just, you know, being a refresher and stuff like that, to, and I have some samples and stuff here in my office and stuff with me uh, as well and everything. So um, I, I'm glad, you know, I appreciate the refresher and stuff on everything uh, to kind of drive it home and stuff. So. Yeah. So, uh, you know, what I wanted to sort of close up with is that, you know, uh, what you've seen today is uh, one of the things that we offer to our dealer partners as a way to help support the products. I mean, just like I, you know, spend this time with you now, if you wanted to do something like this, I mean, you know, we can have um, as many as 100 people uh, attending this Zoom conference. Uh, so if you, you know, if you wanted to schedule something like that, uh, you know, have it hosted as, uh, you know, as an event that you do. Uh, and in addition to that, if you wanted to do something like that and you wanted to really participate, uh, you know, we can do a Skype call with you and we can put you in a little 
box probably down here somewhere. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that kind of thing. Uh, and, I like that hand movement. There. Yeah. You get yeah. the Van away thing going on there. Yeah, but you you know have have you right in here, <laughs> kind of thing, and and uh, uh, you know because it's backwards. When I reach over this way, the anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing a I'm seeing my own mirror image. So I'm, <laughs> that's why I'm, I'm trying to comb my hair. It's hard to do. But anyway, we can do that, and we you okay. know, we're, ha we're happy to do that. The second thing is, is that, you know, you saw all these little clips that we showed today and, you know, we, we have a lot of those um, and we're constantly doing more and more of those as time goes on. We can, you know, we can provide those to you either in a raw form or, you know, if you want to give us artwork, we can brand them for you uh, so that, you know, you can incorporate them into your website or, your YouTube page or whatever you want to do. And, you know, it gives you a quick way of providing your customers, you know, with the information that can best help them be successful with the product. So these are all things to, you know, to, to think about. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate that stuff. Yeah. I, I think, uh, all of the above, I think would, uh, be a good option and stuff. So, um, you know, video is definitely a big part of what we uh, we try to put on our uh, product listings and stuff these days on the website. Um, the webinars and stuff work very well. They draw usually a very large crowd and stuff for us. So um, I think kind of doing that in combination with like a, you know, product launch, I think would be uh, a great way to kind of get it going. Let us know what you think when you'd like to do it. We'll set it up, make it happen. Perfect. All yeah, right. no, I, I appreciate that very much. Yeah, cool. So uh, I guess I'll get with... Uh, Carla and we'll get uh, updated pricing and, and I guess go from there then. Any other questions? Anything else? No, I think that's it, David. I, I appreciate your time. Okay. So we'll, uh, we'll get this recorded and uh, um, we'll upload it. I'll send you the link where you can access it. Uh, we have it recorded. We'll get it rendered and then get that okay. to you. Uh, anything else? Let me know. All right. Yeah, no, and uh, thank you, uh, your video team over there. They, they did a great job. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye. Thanks, guys. Take care.